بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm almost done with the uh, prayer app the only thing I need to do mainly is to double check on the Fajr time because uh, there's some good evidence is brought to show it's 18 degrees so once I get clarification on that uh, then I can release it inshallah some cool things I found out about this that I want to share so firstly how to use this app um, I don't plan to release it soon maybe in a couple months and, um, but let me show you how to use it so firstly you have up here a little search bar you can type anything that you can type into Google and uh, inshallah it'll give you search results so you can type a city a state or a country or whatever you want and then it should work fine you can also choose the date that uh, you want the times for maybe you maybe you want to plan for the future then you have the prayer table then this is something new that I added and it's basically just showing you how the whole day is in like a 24 hour period and how long each of the prayers are so it'll start with Dhuhr up here where 10% of the day is Dhuhr 145 minutes then Asr time then the late Asr time where you're not supposed to pray during that time but unless you're forced to then there's Maghrib Isha then the rest of the night then Fajr time let me zoom in to make it a little more easier okay so when this chart first rendered I was like wow this looks really good uh, but then after my surprise some things were kind of weird that I tried to fix but I realized that it's actually normal so the first thing was that why is Maghrib time and Fajr time above the horizon shouldn't it be like when the sun's below the horizon why is it sticking up up here and up over here and you might have already figured this out but it took me a couple minutes maybe an hour to realize actually this is fine because what it is is that the day is short during the winter time so we're in the winter time and the day is shorter and the night is longer so that's why as the sun goes throughout the day or as the time goes uh Maghrib time starts really early and then night time already sets and the sun is below the ground then Fajr time starts pretty late because we're in the winter time and uh then becomes morning because Fajr is now above the bottom half so you can think of it as the night is more than 50 percent of the the 24 hour period and the daytime is less than 50 percent whereas this will change in the middle of the year um sec second thing i noticed that i was confused on is why is this line here angled so you have isha isha ends halfway through the night which is between maghrib and fajr then you have the rest of the night then you have fajr but shouldn't this line be a straight line like the opposite of when the horse starts so this is something I had to go and see myself to try to fix but I also realized this is correct this line is actually correct it's supposed to be angled the reason why it's kind of complicated but I'll try to explain it as simple as possible when does the night start in Islam Islamically when does the night start it starts when Maghrib starts or I don't know if it's correct to say Islamically, but just generally the night starts when Maghrib starts. And I say this just because the sun has now went below the horizon. Then it becomes night. Then when Fajr starts, the night has ended. So the night ends when Fajr starts. So it starts when Maghrib starts and it ends when Fajr starts. That's the night. But I'm not sure why. You would think logically that... Uh, the Fajr would start when Maghrib starts. Sorry. The night would start when Maghrib starts because the sun's below the ground. And you would think that it ends when Fajr ends, right? Because the sun is now leaving the ground, it's going up. But actually, 
Islamically, I'll say Islamically more with confidence now, the night ends when the Fajr starts, not when the Fajr ends. So really the night, this should say this should say rest of night, not just night, the rest of the night, because Aisha is night too. So really the night it's it goes from Maghrib here to the beginning of Fajr. So it's not a straight line, it's like an angled line here. So this chart is not really representing a physical uh, representation of the day. It's more of the hours of the day, the time of the day. Um, so the night starts here. I don't know, maybe it is a physical representation. I'm not confident about that. But the night starts here and it ends here. And that's why this angle is, this split is tilted. And if you see Aisha, is 23.5% of the night. Night, the rest of the night, is 27.9%. So what is that? 27, 4.4% difference. And when you look at Maghrib, it's 4.4% of the day. That's because instead of the night being a straight line, you could, it's more like it tilts up a little bit, 4.4%. And with that, you get this whole wheel of the times of prayer during the day. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll add some kind of like like a hand to show where in the day you are right now. Like when you wake up, you'll see the sun here. And then it goes up here and here during the day. Then you can see exactly what time it is, what, fej what Salah is time, when it's uh, starting and ending, or how close you are to it. Because you can see the location of the sun as it'll circle this. Maybe I'll add that. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then when you take advantage of the date picker up here, I was kind of just having fun with this, but let me show you what it can do. So as you update this, it'll update the chart. So let me ask you something. I'm going to change this to December, which is pretty far into the winter. Is the night going to grow or shrink? How will the graph look? Let's try it out. So it grew. Now I'm going to keep going. And it shrunk again. So December is the longest night of the month. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You see the day is growing longer. The prayer times are becoming longer until you reach June, where it's there's barely any night time. This is when the night is short. Fejit is really early. The day is really long. Maybe you come home from work and you still have time to pray Luhur or Asr. And you start going more. And now you'll see the prayer times getting shorter because the night is taking over. As Allah merges the night into the day and the day into the night. So let me just toggle through this really fast. Show you what it looks like. Cool, huh? This is the night and the day shifting throughout the year. So that's the prayer app for now. Uh, I don't plan to release it until uh, I get some clarification on Fajr times. If you really, really want to access it, you can just send me a private message, but I don't want to release it yet because I'm not confident that it's accurate with regards to the Fajr. Otherwise, uh, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.